okay? No viewfinder on this particular camera. My name is Paul Murphy, and um, I'm going to be reading a, um, a new poem, stroke prose piece that, um, that I wrote yesterday, uh, and it's taken from the hardback edition of poems for my children, and it is called Shall We Go to the Zoo Today? What shall we do today? Pretend we're at the zoo. I could be a camel. Would you like one lump or two? Maybe we'll be tigers roaming in the glade. When they hear our mighty roar, all ears will be afraid. You could be a monkey. I know you like bananas. Or we could play the cute card and be two snuggly pandas. Or shall we be penguins waddling about, doing the hokey-cokey, putting our flippers in and out? Would you like to be a bear? But what about those claws? I know, we could paint them pink and hear them all go, Ooh. Shall I be a seal? Oh wait, they've got no hair. I am too young to be bold, so let's not even go there. We could be two cheetahs, the fleetest feet on earth. Or possibly hyenas. Like us, they're full of mirth. I know, let's be peacocks and spread our rainbow tails. That would brighten everyone's day if the sunshine fails. Shall we sliver like we're snakes, our tummies on the ground? For sure, if someone sees us, they won't hang around. Oh, and speaking of that, should we be orangutans? They're very popular, you know. They've got a lot of fans. How does a giraffe sound to you? Or is that neck too long? By the time the breakfast reach your belly, supper's been and gone. Hey, let's take things cool and easy and be a pair of sloths. We could put mascara on, then we'd be soft goth sloths. We could be alpacas. I think they're a bit like llamas. They say they've got some bad habits, but we could make them charmers. Shall we pretend we're pelicans? <gasps> but think of the poor fish. Vegetarian pelicans, maybe. That would be their wish. I know, let's be leopards. I hear that spots are in. We could play join up the dots. But where would we begin? I would like to be an owl. They say they're very wise. They can turn their heads 270 degrees. You can't take them by surprise. And don't forget the elephants. How ironic would that be? Amongst their rather rapid tributes, there's a very good memory. Would you like us to be zebras? However you pronounce it. Stripes of the fashion this year, my dear. Look at me announce it. Shall we pretend we're wombats? I really like the name. But they don't hang upside down in caves. They're really not the same. Mm. I'd like to be a dormouse. I think that would be great. Because I like to lie in bed and dormice hibernate. You should be a koala bear. Because you're cuddly and you're cute. But don't eat too much eucalyptus. Uh, I hear it makes one toot. We could be two dolphins and play in the aquarium. People love to see them doing tricks. They sit there for hours and stare at her. <gasps> Let's go colourful and exotic and be two parakeets. We'd be feathered walkie-talkies. <laughs> Wouldn't that be neat? <laughs> I don't know what the plural is. Um, two times a hippopotamus? can weigh up to four tons, you know. So there would be a lot of us. Well, all this thinking about the zoo brought this thought to me at the hop. Why don't we be two visitors and call into the ice cream shop? Uh, so that was, uh, shall we go to the zoo today? And uh, I've had to read that off of the uh, proofreading copy there. Uh, uh, this is what, when it comes out, that's what poems for my children, the hardback edition, will look like. Shall I do another one while I'm here? I don't want to stop. Uh, uh, what's uh, what would be a good one to do? Talk amongst
pace yourselves for a few seconds, aren't they? Let's head down through. It's got lots of uh, new entries in. Uh, but, uh, okay, I'll do handprints, which I wrote yesterday. You clasped your tiny hand in mine. You gazed into my eyes. You captured me from that first glance. Swore I would protect you from that day till evermore. Let no obstacle block us. There will be no locked doors. As I gazed down into your crib, I felt all shade depart. You clasped your tiny hand in mine and the fingerprints on my heart. so much. I've been Paul Murphy and you've been very kind and generous with your time. And now I have to be extremely ungainly and try and find the off switch on this new camera. I hope you flip that.